In this video, we are going to discuss routing using Dijkstra's algorithm. Dijkstra's algorithm finds the all pair shortest path. That means here we will be giving one source vertex and it will find out the distance between all other vertices and the shortest distances. That is all pair shortest path. So now using this particular Dijkstra's algorithm also we can make the respective routes through which the data will be sent from one station to another station. So status V0 is equal to exclamation. Here V0 is the source vertex. Dist V0 is equal to 0 and next V0 is equal to star. So we are having three arrays that is the status, dist and next. For all V not equal to V0, for the rest of the vertices, status V is equal to question mark, dist V is equal to L that is the length between V V0 and next V is equal to V0. So up to step 4, let us go for the tracing. Then we shall start with the step 5 onwards. So here we are having one graph is given to us. This is one graph. So here we are having A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So this number of nodes we are having here. So in the vertex we have written A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So now see what we are doing. We are considering A0 as the V0 that is the source vertex. So status A0 that is status V0 that is the A, status A we have put that one exclamation. So dist V0 is equal to 0 and next V0 is equal to star. So here you see we are having these three lines, so three lines we have done. Now for the rest of the vertices, so what are the rest of the vertices? You can find there that is B to G for the rest of the vertices. We should put status V star is equal to the question mark. What is the V star? That is the currently considered vertex. So status V star is equal to question mark and dist V star is equal to length between V V0. So now see A is the respective uh, our, our V0. So A to B we are having this 3. So 3 has been written measured from A. A to C the distance is 6. So 6 is written measured from A. So now we are not finding any other path any other path to any other nodes from A. So that is why all these path values are infinite and they have been measured from A. So up to this, up to this means we have executed step number 5 because for all V not equal to V0, that means other than the starting vertex, status V is equal to question mark and this V is equal to L V V0 and next V is equal to V0. So we did the same in this particular case. I think you are understanding me. Now we shall go for the step number 5. While there are remaining question mark vertices, what is the meaning of this question mark vertices means? That means unconsidered yet. So put V star is equal to question mark vertex for which the distance is smallest. Status V star is equal to our exclamation. For each remaining question mark vertex V, if this V is greater than this V star plus L V star V, then this V is equal to this V star plus L V star V and next V is equal to V star. So that is the process which will be repeated until we are not having any kind of question mark vertices. When the question mark vertices are there, that means this interrogation symbol that means that unconsidered vertex, then this while body will be executing this while construct will be executing. So let us uh, uh, explain it using this particular case study. So see here, here you see for all this respective vertices which is the minimum one. So 0 it is already considered. So consider this question mark vertices in the status uh, array. So we are having this 3, 6 and infinity. What is the minimum value? 3. So that very vertex will be considered now. So question mark has been replaced by this exclamation which we had here. We are, we are having that is a status V star is equal to question mark. And now what we are doing? So now this is the 3 is there, this is the 3. So that means from A to B to reach I require 3 here. So now C from B, B to C, 2, 2 is a distance. So 2 plus 3 that is 5. But here we have written 6. So 6 is greater than 5. So I will be writing 5 and measured from B here. So from B to D, we are having 4, so 3 plus 4, we are having 7, so 7 is 
is lesser than infinity, so I shall be writing b here. So, in this way this particular this particular iteration has done some updates. So, similarly you can proceed for the rest, let me show you another one. So, if you consider this question mark vertex, we are having 5, 7 and then all infinities. So, what is the minimum between 5, 7 and infinity? That is a 5. So, 5 means C. So, that is why I made that one exclamation, status is equal to exclamation means it has been considered. So, what is the cost to reach to C? There is a 5. Okay. Now, see. So, from C, C to D, we are having 1. C to D, we are having 1. So, 5 plus 1 is 6. So, in the D, I had the calculation 7. So, I shall write 6 measured from C. So, from C to E, the cost is 4. So, 4 plus 5, that is 9. Initially, the cost was written infinity. So, I have written that one 9 measured from C. Now, see from C to F, the cost is 2. So, here 5 plus 2 is 7, 7 is lesser than infinity. So, this particular 7 will be written and it has been measured from C and in this way the process has been done. I have shown you full process. You can pause the video and do the calculations at your end and check how this table has got formed. So, I shall stop when all this status value will be exclamation that means all the nodes have got considered. Now, how to get the path? The path can be obtained in this way. You see A to B, B to C, C to D in this way. So, A to B, then we are having B to C, then we are having C to D. So, these are the respective path will be considered. Then D to E, C to F and F to G. In this way, if we proceed, then we are getting all pair shortest paths. And in this way, we can also construct our respective routing table. So, now consider that these nodes are occupied by some bridges or some routers. So, routing table will be constructed for each one of them and how the table can be cons constructed, we have discussed that one in this respective example. So, there is a, there is a, a flow chart for this Dijkstra's uh, algorithm. So, in case of Dijkstra's algorithm, we are having this begin, initialize. Is there any question mark vertex? That means what? That means unconsidered vertex. No, go for end. If it is yes, then vista is equal to vertex with the smallest distance, then status vista is equal to 1 and then I think it, it, you can also make this one 1 or you can also make this one exclamation and update the next uh, list in next tables and go on doing this process. So, in this way, we have also given you the respective algorithm in the form of a flowchart. So, in this particular video, we have shown you that how the distress algorithm can work to decide the routing tables. Thanks for watching this. Tutorialspoint.com Simply easy learning.